Hello and welcome to the Poison Custom Keyboard Build Log. First of all, I have to say that this is not a sponsored video. I'm not paid for anything described or linked here. For my first mechanical keyboard build, I decided to make it easier by choosing to assemble a mix of standard parts with some custom ones. Since a 60% size keyboard is a little small for a beginner, I decided to start with the TADA 68, a 65% layout, mixing original parts with custom and self-designed parts. For a first build, I'm quite happy with the results. The vintage Cherry MX black switches are smooth as butter and the signature plastics ice cap keycaps feel like silk at touch. The self-designed stainless steel plate along with a thick aluminum case give rigidity to the structure and the final 1.5 kg weight gives that feeling of a rock solid keyboard that we all desire. Now let's see which parts I choose. I've got a standard anodized aluminum dark grey TADA 68 case. I designed and made laser cut my custom stainless steel plate. I've got a standard TADA 68 PCB from candykeys.com to which I have to give credit for having replaced rapidly and for free a faulty PCB that they first sent me. This PCB supports QMK firmware and LED backlighting. I got a set of ice cap keycaps from Signature Plastics adding a poison keycap modifier, a set of original Cherry MX stabilizers, a set of vintage Cherry MX switches that I desoldered from an old IBM PC compatible keyboard that I recovered from a dumpster. The keyboard was a Chinese replica made with some good parts, like the switches or the double shot keycaps. Here is a fast log of the switches recovery. Later on, all the switches have been disassembled and cleaned with water and neutral soap in an ultrasound cleaner chamber for 15 minutes and then hot air dried. Superlube has been my choice as lubricant. All the switches have been lubricated one by one, carefully lubing the sliders and the springs contact points using a mix of 60% thick super lube grease with a 40% thin super lube oil. The stabilizers have been assembled and lubricated with 100% super lube. The most satisfying part has been that of assembling the stabilizers to my custom stainless steel plate and seeing that the parts matched perfectly.
Once the plate has been ready, I prepare the PCB by applying my version of the Bandai mod by adding little self-adhesive foam strips to the stabilizer's PCB contact points. The plate, the PCB and the switches are then placed in position and the switches soldered in place. I did not lock the soldering process because I find it really boring. Time to place the plate assembly into the case. I added a thin plastic film to avoid contact of the plate assembly with the case walls. The plate is secured to the case with screws. And the rubber fit fixed to the bottom of the case. Finally, the keycaps are applied along with the curved index keys and the keyboard tested for feel and sound for the first time. That's all for this build, feel free to ask me questions should you have any and hit the bell down below to subscribe if you like my channel. Ciao ciao!